Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Capital One and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately and that is what is the Capital One phishing email scam? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a quick video, but I'll be sure to go over some really important information that can help prevent you from being scammed on this Capital One phishing email scam. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But first off, what is the Capital One phishing email scam? Well, that's pretty easy. Basically what it is, is scammers will get in touch with millions and millions of email addresses. And with that information, they'll send out a mass blast of tens of millions of emails claiming to be from Capital One. Now, the thing is, most of the people who receive this email will not have an account with Capital One. However, since that's a large company, some of those email recipients are bound to have a Capital One account. And inside this email address, it's going to look very official. So for example, this is one that I received for Bank of America. As you can see, it's written out, formatted, just like a Bank of America email. It also has the logo there, but for Capital One, it'll just have their Capital One logo, Capital One name, and then some more information down here at the bottom. Whatever the case is, it looks really official. And then on these phishing email scams, it's going to say something like there's a problem with your Capital One card, or maybe something needs to be verified. And one thing that's common and true for all of them, they're always going to have this click here link. And it's going to say something along the lines of click here to verify the information. Don't click on that link because once you've clicked on the link, it is possible that some sort of software virus or something is logged onto your phone or onto your computer. So don't click there. However, if you did click there, it's generally going to ask you to log into your Capital One account with your username and password. And once you do that, what's happening is the scammer is logging your username and password. And then with that information, it is possible they might be able to get into your Capital One account and completely clean you out. So don't click on the link. One way to tell if it is a Capital One phishing email scam is just scrolling to the top of the email. And then if you look at the top, it's going to show who the email came from. And usually when you look at the email address, it's going to be something like Gmail or Google or something like that. So once you scroll to the top, it's usually going to say something like Google or Yahoo or something like that. So for example, this one says it's from Bank of America. However, it looks like it's from Clear Mountains Bank, which is obviously a fake Bank of America website. It's not the actual. Now be very careful because for Capital One, it is possible sometimes these scammers will buy a similar web address. So for example, Capital One kind of looks like Capital One. So these guys might buy the web address C-A-B-I-T-A-L instead of Capital One. So at first glance, it kind of looks like it's the website web address, but it's actually not. So that's usually the best way to tell if it is a Capital One phishing email scam. Also, another thing I want to know is that if it, you're at all in doubt of it being an authentic Capital One email, what you want to do is get your Capital One debit card or credit card, flip it over, and then call the number that's on the back of there. Don't use the phone number in the email. As you can see, this one includes a number down here. If you end up calling that number, what's going to happen is you're going to be talking to someone acting as if they are Capital One customer service, but in fact, you're actually talking to a scammer. And those scammers, what they're going to do is ultimately try to get your username, password, and private information for your Capital One account. So again, don't use the phone number listed on that email address. But what if you want to report this phishing email scam to Capital One? That's pretty easy. What you want to do is go directly to the Capital One website and go to the phishing section. Let me go and switch over there now. Okay, guys, I went in and switched over to the Capital One website. It's right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link to this particular web page. But if you get one of these Capital One phishing email scams, what you want to do is go ahead and forward it on to Capital One. And then as you can see, their web address for their email to report phishing email scams is right here, abuse at Capital One dot com. Once you forward it on to Capital One, they will investigate the phishing scam and then report it to the proper authorities. So there you have it, guys. That is the Capital One phishing email scam. If you happen to be a victim of this scam, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how it ended up working out or how it was resolved. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.